Sucker. It's him. That's the, that's the real him. Santa. He's right there. I feel like this Grinch Santa hat kind of makes me look like Guy Fieri. Okay, there we go. It is time for part two of our Universal Studios VIP event. Uh, as you know, part one, Universal invited us out. They want us to have a fun day at Universal. So the first thing we're gonna do for the next part of the day is they put us in this kind of little private area to watch the Macy's Day Parade. So let's go. Okay, so now it's time to return back to our VIP group. It's like uh, five o'clock now. Now I have no idea what they have in store for us. So let's go on the journey together. All right, we're checking in over here for the tour check-in. Finished the parade. Again, I'm gonna do a full tour of the parade later this week, but it's time for Grinchmas. There happened a story you must see to believe. Way up in the mountains, in the high range of Pontus, in a small town of Whoville, the home of the Who. Merry Christmas! Not yet! Okay. Hit me with a hot note, Whoville! It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. Ow. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Bah hoobah! exclaimed the Grinch, staring down from his cave with a sour Grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he the stocking the Grinch snarled with a sneer. Ooh. Tomorrow is Christmas! It's practically here. Then he growled with his green Grinch fingers nervously drumming. Well, we must find a way to keep Christmas from coming. But how? Oh, the present! We can't talk now! There's so much to do! I have to get the cool cash! What a great Grinchy trick! With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick! No, I'm speaking in rhyme. Blast! And now, grin the grin. I'll stuff up the tree. So the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shout uh, when he heard the small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and saw a small who, little Cindy Lou Who. Santa Claus! Where? Where is he? Let me at him! <laughs> why, why are you taking our Christmas tree? I, I 
awkward. But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick? He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. <laughs> Why, my sweet little dot? The fake Santa Claus lie. You are not helping! <laughs> There's a light on this tree. That won't light on one side. No, I'm taking a gift. Hold you my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. Then I'll bring it back here. I'm rhyming again. Ugh. Santa Claus? What? Don't forget about the Grinch. Ooh, ha, he, ha. The Grinch? I know he hates Christmas, and he's green with bad breath, and smelly feet with shoes that are two sizes too small. Ow. But just because he's different, that doesn't mean he shouldn't get a present on Christmas. Good night. You can't do it. <laughs> Then so could the Grinch. Well, that's how you sound. <laughs> then he slithered and Ooh. slung with a smile most unpleasant. Now that I can do. Uh. <laughs> Kindness, I bring them all back to you. Oh, I'm rhyming again. And I like it. Your hand! It's so. Harry, I know. No. Greasy, oily, do I have a wart? How embarrassing! No! It's warm. Merry Christmas, Cindy Lou. Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. Welcome, Christmas. Bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp. So long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas ah, oh, oh, okay. Oh, God, 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 God. That's the last one, I promise. Hey, Kate, it's a big moment. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, my family. I'm sorry. just finished Grinch Smith. The guy who's playing the Grinch this year, incredible. So good. Now we're doing like a special uh, like Q&A with the Who's of Whoville. Martha May and her assistant Carson! Yeah! Uh, before we get into all of our who and A's here, how about everyone uh, introduce themselves? We'll start right down here. Oh, hi, I'm Lou Who. I am the husband to Betty Lou, and I work in the mail center. Hi, I'm Daddy, Betty Lou Who. I'm Lou Who's wife, 
and um, I'm going for decorator of the year. So vote for me. that asked the Who's and they just kind of talked about what it was like living in Whoville and stuff. <laughs> Very strange some of their answers, but a lot of fun. Right, so this is where the Blue Man Group like lobby was. Now it's been transformed into Whoville, I guess, with all the Christmas trees. They put some Christmas lights up, added some snowmen and a Whomobile. Then they have a little photo op you can uh, picture with. Grinchness. Who a day spectacular. But, uh, our VMP tour guide is kind of touring us around Universal Studios now. Now I have not seen the Christmas tree with the new lighting package and it is insane. This thing is gorgeous. How many lights are on the Christmas tree? A lot. Apparently there's a uh, 80 feet of tree here. <laughs> Christmas tree and fireworks. So if you notice, the lights are constantly changing and then the star also changes colors. It's on a true story. Years ago, during one of our holiday parades, just like the one you witnessed this evening, Santa came to New York to light the tree. Well, Earl is such a big fan of Christmas, he wanted to go to the very tip top of the tree to see it being lit, and he ran all the way up as fast as his little squirrel legs could carry him, only to look down and realize that he snapped a wire. So when Santa went to light the tree that year, Nothing happened. Earl felt so bad about it. He vowed that every Christmas after that would be spectacular and he would always make sure the Christmas tree got lit. So every year, Earl hangs out in the 
tree, not toward the top because of how it worked out last time, but to make sure that it'll light up every year. Earl the squirrel is in our tree. See if you can find him. Okay, it's time to go visit Santa. I don't think I can sit on his lap, but he's hidden inside the Jimmy Fallon ride building. If you didn't know, that's where Santa hangs out. All right, Jimmy, where are you hiding Santa, buddy? Okay, oh, we're up here on the balcony. This is such a beautiful view. I've been up here before, but you get a shot of Rip Ride Rocket, overseeing an empty theme park. Oh yeah. You look like a frat boy right now. Who's the, who's the new YouTuber right here? All right, we're going to the NBC staff only area. This is where Santa it's Christmas. is hanging out. It's Santa. That's the, that's the real Santa. Santa. He's right there, right there. We're about to meet the one and only Santa next. Have a Merry Christmas, my dear. Santa, it's a pleasure to meet you. So I have a Santa question. Loves the light Aww, thank you. So every you always ask everybody what they want for Christmas, but what do you want for Christmas? Oh, believe me, my dear, Mrs. Claus takes care of Santa very, very well. Aww. Everything on Santa's Christmas wish list. <laughs> Apart from that, seeing the looks on all the little on all the children's faces Aww. of all ages, my dear, believe me. <laughs> so when you have a little vacation to visit Universal, when you have free time, what is your favorite ride to ride with Mrs. Claus? <laughs> Well, um, Santa loves most everything that he does as well. <laughs> but the Fast and Furious ride is kind of like the sleigh. It's a, wi it's a wild ride. You might you might enjoy that next time you come and visit. It's more like Spider-Man, <laughs> really, when it comes to that. <laughs> With the magic of Santa, literally like 10 seconds later, we have the photo of us that we just took. Yeah, remember back way, way back to our... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the wonderful photo of us uh, meeting Santa. All right, now that we've met Santa, it's time to go meet the one and only Grinch. All right, so we've got, cut through the back way to Circus McGurkis. That's where we're going. We're gonna have some cookies, we're gonna have some hot chocolate, and we're gonna meet the one and only Grinch. Now, I've never uh, eaten here. I've been here once to get just a water cup. So a funky little uh, restaurant. All right, so over here is the cookies. We have a... Uh, what are these little snowmen churn cookies and then like a chocolate cookie so there's two different types of cookies and then over here is where you can get hot chocolate all right so we got hot chocolate they had three different types they had traditional for basic people like brent they have a uh, peppermint for me or they have a uh, cinnamon hot chocolate let's see how it is yeah that's hot all right let's try this um snowman first uh we're gonna pull a ned stark and go off with its head all right let's try a little gingerbread the Grinch just walked off. Since the Grinch has left us, we're going to ask the questions to you. Okay? Ah, I'm a Grinch. Yes, you're the Grinch. <laughs> How do you feel <laughs> that you're no longer the face of Christmas here at Universal? A squirrel has taken your spot. I feel pretty uh, pretty grumpy about it. You could oh. say a little Grinchy about oh, it. Oh, my God. If that squirrel's getting all the attention and I'm not. All right, last question. We asked Santa. Okay what he wanted for Christmas. He said he wanted children to be happy. Okay. So Grinch, what do you want for Christmas? I want everyone to come to Universal and do a holiday tour because that's gonna make them happy. And to see the Grinch Miss Holiday Spectacular because he's the star. I'm the star. I'm the yes, and just, yeah, we're going through the Lost Continent right now. It's just us alone in here. So now we're going to a private viewing area for the Harry Potter nighttime show. Open, the Hogshead Pub is open. So if you want to grab a butter beer or a real people beer, that's an option. There's also <laughs> So Dervish and Bangs if you want to do some shopping. And uh, Honey Dukes, the sweet shop is also open. Beautiful with the Christmas lights. And I guess you could say it's a Mary Potter. Oh. <laughs> that one was bad. Enjoy Hogsmeade. I'll see you guys after the show. All right, we're entering into Hogsmeade. But normally it's like shoulder to shoulder here. It's just a straight up madhouse. So they have the bridge open for us to watch it from or right here. And finally, I think this is the perfect angle. I don't think I've ever been able to get this angle before.
what we lovingly refer to as the fishbowl out into City Walk. Hmm. You know how people think that holiday seasons are all about the gifts? Well, I'm just happy to have your presence. Aww. Aww. Bye guys. Have a good day. Oh my god. And we can pretend he's lost the breath. Hey, John, I don't hear you doing anything. Now that was a very different experience. Enjoy the nighttime show in the Wizarding World. Uh, if you remember a couple years ago what it looks like around this time of year. Look. The good thing is it's cold outside, so none of these people smell. I feel like we're on the Titanic right now trying to get a lifeboat. It's like the Black Friday sales. Everybody's just running in. The wands, I want all the headwigs I can get, okay, Jerry? Trying to go to the show. Yeah, it was pretty much empty. Uh, there were a couple other parties with us, but it was nice. <laughs> I didn't have to fight through crowds. And you're probably wondering, Kevin, I wish I could do what you just did in this video. Well, you can, everyone. So, actually, what Universal took us on, it's called the Universal Holiday Tour. So, I believe it's $70 per person, but if you're an annual pass holder, it's $60. Now, this was a six hour VIP tour event for what, 60 or $70? Kind of crazy. What you get with the package, you get a meet and greet with the Grinch. We were kind of doing a different thing, so we missed the Grinch during his set. He left, I didn't get to say hi. I watched him interact with people, but yeah, the Grinch had to go and, you know, feed Max. For everyone else, you will be able to meet the Grinch during the little hot cocoa part, so you'll get cookies and hot cocoa at, at Circus McGurkis Cafe. Then you're gonna get reserved viewing seats for the Universal Holiday Parade, then you're gonna get reserved seats for Grinchmas, and then you're gonna get an exclusive Q&A with the Who's, and then you get an exclusive meet and greet with Santa and one keepsake photo. Then you get the Universal Holiday Tree Hunt. We're gonna be going back to Universal another day to kind of do that whole tree hunt, but that's like $10 normally, and they give that to you included with a package. And then you get the after hour showing of the Magic of Christmas at the Hogwarts Castle. Okay, so. Honestly, I think it's worth it for the price, um, especially this time of the year. We're this far into December. Things are just busy and it's just straight up madness and you don't want to deal with the crap. So when you do this package deal, you, can, you already have the reserved seats. So you don't have to worry about waiting out for an hour or two. And honestly, you get the VIP tour guide, which they're a lot of fun. They give you all these fun facts and tour you backstage and show you all these little nooks and crannies of Universal that you really can't see. So again, thank you Universal for inviting us out. We had a lot of fun with the holiday tour. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe subscribe button and join the family. Hi right, guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.